got a bag of moose, you gotta get up early. Michelle? Michelle? I couldn't find you. I could find you. Hear you a mile away. So could a moose. You have to be quiet. You sure you want to keep going? Can I carry a gun? Check the safety first. On or off? Off? No, it's on. On is back. Never guess. Okay. End of the barrel in front of you, always point it to the ground. If you're following someone, like this. Got it? Let's go. Watch carefully. Let me shoot, please. Okay. Like I showed you. Okay, safety off. Cover his head with the tip of the sight. He's moving. Well, just wait. You never run when you're carrying a rifle. Two for Dr. Dela. Kid takes three. One for Lady. Dealer takes three. Leon, I thought you were in Simpson with Peter. Tribal council, whatever. They're still meeting. I had to get back. Still? It's three days. Well, they're only talking about land claims. What could possibly be the problem? Peter's the problem. All the bands want a deal now, except for him. Good. No deals. No deals, no money, no jobs. Your bet. He folds, kid. Leon. You get a contract, Bill Edzo's house? It's just an addition. <laughs> Four bedrooms. Where are you buying the lumber? Buy from us. You haven't even got the mill yet. It's coming today. TV's gone in Wolverine Lake. He's picking it up. Learn how to use it first. He took the course. The guy came with the machines. Part of the deal. You should buy from TV. We'll see. Yo, Joey, hello. Anybody home? False. So, uh... You know where Bill Edso got the money for that edition? Glencore gas stock. I, I heard. Nothing compared to Miramax, though. You know Matthew Keja? The trapper? Yeah. Bought in 16 cents. Sold for 32. He doubled? <laughs> Sold for 32 dollars. Had 10,000 shares. What is that? 32 times 10,000? <laughs> I win. Wow. Bring us for a ride, TV. Right. Guys, get off. Get off there. <laughs> what do you think? Looks like a praying mantis. 30,000 bucks for this? Hey, 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 hey. 24 horses, hydraulic assist, a complete uh, blade package. Is it wax floors, too? Good motor. Well, there you go. Sam will give you 200 for the motor when you're done with it. Don't listen to him. It's a good thing that's true. Let's say uh, someone wanted 500 board feet or so. How much? Uh, 60 cents a board foot. That's um, 300 bucks uh, delivered. I told you, when you got it up and running. It is up and running. 
He took the course. Otherwise, they wouldn't let him have it, right? The thing runs itself. I've been doing business with like my guy for two years. What guy? Hayden, Smallboat, and Simpson. Simpson, Simpson, why, your own people. Stop talking to me about my people. Don't you trust TV? Maybe next time. Did you know Phil Edso's my cousin? Two days is not done, deal's off. It'll be done like dinner. Two days. I mean it. What? 2,200 board feet in two days. That's what? We start cutting tomorrow. He cancels the other order. It takes us three days, four. What's he gonna do? It's called get him a little pregnant. You come here with Hannah? Yes. Was she a good hunter? Mm -mm. Worse than me? Maybe we should go home. We didn't get anything yet. Maybe on the way back. I want to carry the gun. Then if we see something... Quiet. What? Michelle! Hey, Michelle. What are you doing here? Ron, what the hell is going on? Well, finally got myself a job. Road survey. Hired my brother George, too. A road? Ben hired us. Lord Mackenzie, this is my trap line. We got the maps from Chief Norman. I don't need a map. This is my trap line. You better get off our land. <laughs> more logs than this. Yeah, I know. I know. We've got a lot of skidding to do. Would you relax, Leon? We've got it under control. Sean, Sean, fire up. You don't just fire it up. It's, it's going to take some setup. What does this do? That, uh, that adjusts the log taper. Oh, so you have, like, seconds, right? You know, boards that you're just going to throw away? No, you see, that's why they call it a wood miser, no waste. I'd like to see you put a couple through. I got a lot of work to do here, and what I don't need is an audience. He's right. Let the man do his work, for God's sake. Just remember, TV, two days. Come on, come on, let's go, let's go, let's go. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. I'll bring you back your lunch. I need to check something. is going to be so sweet. Jerry, you remember uh, Sylvie Lebrun? It's been a long time. Three years. How are the kids? Good. Growing. Yeah, Sylvie's here to uh, check out Andre's old trap line, you know, look at the cabin. It hasn't been used in a long time, and now that there's all that development coming. Not here. Not as long as Peter's chief. They're all up in Simpson trying to wear him down. Tribal Council? 
Hard to say no to jobs. Not for Peter. Well, I'm gonna go walk around. I'll get it. Thanks. Check out Andre's cabins. After three years? Well, she left in kind of a hurry, as I remember. Every friggin' board is off an inch thinner on one side. What the hell am I doing wrong? Go get Leon. No. Jerry? I said no. Just get out of my way, all right? Can't concentrate with you gawking at me. That was Wayne's job. Was. He's in the yard now with my brother. Seven bucks an hour. Pretty good for a summer job. He's too young. Not when he can make that kind of money living with his uncle. He must miss him. You kidding? Eats me out of house and home. TV's got a sawmill now, so he can stay at home. I heard. Stroll it up to Fort McKenzie. That's where all the construction's at. Are you still working for the Métis Nation? Consulting. For who? Anyone who'll have me. Well, I can make some tea. No, thanks. I gotta go. She looks good. She knows Ellen's gone. You, you, you're joking. But... It's gonna go back up, right? <laughs> How's our boy doing? Great. I just thought you were uh, giving him a hand. He doesn't need a hand, he needs a head. Sold that last batch Andre brought in. I don't know if they're any good. Oh, um, thanks. If you don't want this stuff, I can get rid of it for you. I don't know. Maybe. Well, how about I just hang on to it then? You can decide later. Thanks, Harris. on our land, cutting down trees. What? Tell them. This is Sylvie LeBrun. And who are you? Charlie Muskrat. Charlie. Yours? Hmm. Um, I'm really sorry about Hannah. Peter's not back yet? Soon. Uh, she came for Andre's stuff. I guess she decided she didn't want it. Who's Andre? Uh, he was Sylvie's husband. Uh, he's not around anymore. He's dead. 
Of course, my ass. You never took the course. No, I didn't take the course. Why? Because the guy wasn't there. So the uh, mill just barged itself across uh, Wolverine Lake. Well, he's coming later. He said it was supposed to wait, okay? I thought I could figure it out through the video. You aren't going to figure it out through the video. We gave our word to Leon. The guy's coming in two days, Jack. Two days? You are not making a liar out of me twice in one day. Oh, yeah. Three days, nine chiefs, and 8,000 cups of bad coffee. It was a riot. What's news around here? Same old. Oh, you better go talk to Michelle. Your buddy Chief Norman is trying to push a road across your trap line. What? I spent three days with the guy. He never said nothing to me. <laughs> Go figure. Oh, uh, Sylvie Labrette's in town. How come Sylvie Labrette moved away? She didn't want to stay here after Andre died. How'd he die? Maybe you should just ask Michelle. Hostage taking. Andre was holed up in the band hall with Peter and Sylvie. Michelle blew him away. Must have done something bad. The way I heard, he was pissed off because Peter and Sylvie were boinking on the side. So Michelle goes in and wastes him. Bam, 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 bam! It was one shot through the band hall window. We were there. Quite the family landed up with their, uh, Charlie Brown. Killer cops and horny chiefs. <laughs> Shut up! Ooh, ooh. Tiger, take it easy. You're a liar. Okay. Hi. What is it, Charlie? You killed Andre. He was going to shoot Peter. Why? Because he was angry at everybody. But Peter was the chief, so he took it out on him. So it's good you shot him? It's never good to shoot anyone. Hey, finally. Harris said you saw surveyors around our man. Yes. Poor Mackenzie Band hired them. Did you call? Mm-hmm. And nobody wanted to say anything until Chief Norman got back from Simpson. They had maps. Yeah, showing it as the LaPointe trap line. We always shared that land. But the LaPointes don't use it. Oh, so Chief Norman decides to help himself. Mm -hmm. What happened in Simpson anyways? No consensus. No deal. But the pressure is building. There's more money in play now. Gas and oil, diamonds, timber. What are they offering? Nothing. Best efforts, good intentions. They're going to train us to carry their bags. I'm not going to let them take our land, right? Never. It's OK. I'll handle it. Peter, Sylvie Labrette is here. I know. At least he got jobs in Fort McKenzie. They should be on Kennedy land. If Lynx River would have mapped out the trap lines when everyone else did, the surveyors wouldn't be here right now. Peter said we shouldn't map those things. Otherwise, we'd be halfway to a deal. If we had a deal, your cousin Daniel would still be here. So would Wayne. Now, so would I. How was Simpson? Good. 
Make a deal? Not yet. How long are you in town for? Day, maybe two. How are the kids? Great. Big. Well. See you around. Look, I screwed up. I'll take the blame and I'll deal with Leon, okay? You gotta stop. Jerry. 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 What did you do, huh? Why is this so important? You told me you knew how to do this. I believed you. And we got this contract. I arranged the loan. 2,500. I, I bought a stock. 25,000 shares. With our money? With the bank's money for our last payment? Core results are... Uh... <laughs> What's it worth? Nothing. They stopped trading. <laughs> The tow boards. Yes, yes. What? What? I left the tow boards up. <gasps> That's why we're half an inch out. That's it. We're back in business. The bulb went out. We're not gonna make it. I gotta talk to Harris. No, just to cover the loan. Remember what he did to you? Sure, I can't squeeze it's him. It's his fault anyway. Miramax Minerals, my ass. You gotta do it, TV. Should have waited. Lots of advice. A guy can always get lots of advice. Especially from people who don't do anything themselves. Don't start blaming me. You have no idea what I'm trying to do. It's just a building. Why'd you come back? For my kids. See if there's anything left in Andre's cabins. Things to remember him by. He was a good man. A good trapper. They should know that. sweep up too there's a couple more bucks in it for you peter i told sylvia i'd drive her up as far as the cut line unless of course you uh just wondering how come you didn't cut the deal in simpson because it was a mistake lots of jobs in the yard now mackenzie too how come our kids gotta go away to find work? If you want a bad deal, I can get it for you tomorrow if that's what you want. But if you want a good deal, it takes a lot longer. I thought I was speaking for everybody on this. All my grandkids are gone. Never see them anymore. Sylvie said the Satu got their own drilling company. It's gonna be a gas plant soon. Forty or fifty jobs, maybe. Sylvie told you that. You know what Daniel Dale is doing right now? He's cutting brush for a survey team. It's temporary grunt work. No training, no future. And in six months, he's gonna end up right back where he started. At least he'll have money to feed his family. And those big wells, they'll be pumping money right past his house, 
all the way to Calgary, Ottawa, New York. Our oil, our gas. What do we got now is welfare. Jeez. got a problem. Cash flow problem. Jerry, you know, mislaid some of the money. <laughs> Screw you, buddy. I'm all blackmailed out. What are you doing home? I talked to a guy in Yellowknife. Remember that uh, bad manager trainee thing that I applied for? Yeah. He says I got blackballed. Someone called him up and told him to bury my application. I can't believe that. Who would have done that? Well, honey, uh, uh, you got my blue shirt there? It's on the line. Could you get it for me, please? You got five grand out of me already. I need 2,500 more. So. the pension plan at Trice on Energy. I made a few calls. Peter Kennedy, what a hard ass. We need somebody up there to turn the town against him. Oh, and hey, I know just the person. It's not like... I'm all ears. It's just a short-term contract to liaise with the bands in the South Slavin. So you waited until I was out of town, behind my back. easy for you to spit out your big ideas sitting on your fat salary. Kennedy's already have jobs. What about everyone else, huh? They've been doing it this way for hundreds of years. Picking us off one at a time. Towns are getting torn apart, Peter. Families disappearing. Your people. It wasn't Michelle who killed Andre. It's the price of furs. And that's why we have to be strong. What do you know about being strong? Being on the land, the only time you ever get to see it's from a plane going to Ottawa. Sylvie. Peter gonna kick him off your land? I don't know. Joe said the road he'd drive the beaver away. We should talk to Peter. He's just being stubborn about making a deal. Did Sylvie say that? You don't tramp the land anyway. Do too. Sylvie said that those surveyors wouldn't be out there if Peter had agreed to the mapping. Better watch out or she's gonna get shot too. Charlie. Well, she wants to let him take our trap line. Don't you ever say something. Well, you wouldn't want to make a mistake back in those days, huh? <laughs> there is not a lot of forgiveness in that Old Testament, huh? As compared to the New Testament. Yeah, I've been toast back then. Why? Well, it is not easy being a good person all the time. You know? I mean, like you are. I mean, for instance, that guy that did that thing to TV, you know, buried his application. That, that's, that's the kind of thing that, you know, 
You do something like that, you regret it for the rest of your life, but it's too late. No, it's not. Jesus forgives. But what about you? You okay? for dinner. You want them, you buy them. But they're useless. Sarah needs the wood. <laughs> I'm not giving any of it away. I work too damn hard. But it's, it's totally buggered up, TV. I bought a license to cut it. I pay a stump fee. Now, you want my wood, you buy it. Man. I saw Ellen in Yellowknife. Practically neighbors. Did she tell you we were separated? She seems to think it's not over. It's over. What you thinking about? Man things. <laughs> I love you. Peter? Sorry. Hey, I was looking for Sylvia. I thought maybe she came here. Sorry. So, what do you say? Great. There you are. Sit down, please. TV. Tell them. Well, it's uh, it's about this um, band manager trainee thing. As it turns out, it turns out I don't need it anymore because I got my own business. So what's the surprise? The surprise is um, we're buying you breakfast. Yeah. Yeah. Because we love you so much. Charlie. Charlie.
wrong it was to take the rifle without telling me. My first kill was a gross. I was about your age. My grandfather taught me how to hunt. I was looking for the surveyors. Why? Tell them to get off our land. We'll deal with them somehow. You know, Charlie, every time you have a problem or you get angry, you run away. You have to stop doing that. We're a family now, okay? You and me and Andrew. I'll never forget Hannah. And I'll never stop loving her. Just like you'll never stop loving your mom. But we're together now. And that's the way it's gonna be. Okay? So... Is this my land too? Yeah. the fire for giving us food. Jerry. Jerry! It's a sawmill guy. Do you owe him money or something? He's really ticked off. I'm sick. Go away. <laughs> Get your ass out here. Now. This is uh, Gord uh, Podolsky of uh, Woodmiser. You're the guy that just wouldn't wait. Hmm? And you're the guy that mislaid the money? So you really don't own this thing anymore. Like I was saying, we're, we're negotiating with the band for uh, interim financing. And, no, uh, we're not. Hey, I've been talking to our chief, Peter Chair. No. When was the last time you sharpened this blade? Actually, I haven't had time to. You didn't sharpen it because you don't know how. Because you didn't wait for me to come and show you. Look, if you take this thing back now, you'll never get your money back. Not for the shipping costs, plus I nicked it up a little. Yeah, when you smashed the blade into the log stuff, which you forgot to lower. But if you let us work it off, we can pay you back with interest. Say by the end of the month. What you gotta do is cut yourself some four by fours first to stack your logs on them. And another couple for your lumber. Can't work in a mess like this. your contract with Trison? I don't know. It's a little vague. You could come back here. Stay with me. They'll never accept me. They'll get over it. Even Michelle? She don't want me here. She sees me and she sees that day again. It's never gonna go away. We need to teach her here. If you're qualified, you could have the job. I gotta go.
hell is this? I lost two days. What am I supposed to tell Bill Edzo? Tell him it's my fault, okay? Damn right I will. Deal's off. Charlie, okay? Yeah, thanks. Is she gone? Yeah. How could you? Ellen's clothes are still in the closet. She makes me happy. She makes me laugh, and I almost forgot what that felt like. I asked her to come back. And if that troubles you, or anybody else, that's too bad. Why are you doing this? You got no contract. <laughs>